Hello guys, Jack here from Pure Create Designs and this tutorial is going to be on this um, nice YouTube template as you see here. Now I just created this really quickly um, so you can download that in the link in the description. This is for Photoshop so um, this will work with Photoshop literally um, all the way down to CS3. Um, I always work with anything higher than CS3 um, well yeah CS3 and higher but definitely the best um, Photoshop's out there so this is what we're going to do um, as you can see here I've got this nice template and I'm going to show how to edit that now so you're just going to open it up it's going to be called um, you PC the YouTube template now if you open it up on the uh, left side here on your layers um, panel as you can see here we have the YouTube layout like so click this little drop down uh, thing here and choose shapes Now this is all the different shapes we have so we have the video box we have the left side right side and also the little video box there okay so we can actually add any effects we want to any of these okay but um, so you could maybe change the color you could go to color overlay and maybe you want this to be red so I could put that red like so I could just go to color overlay choose the color I can choose it to whatever I want but I'm just gonna put it back to black I don't really want anything else okay now what we can do is we can mess around adding different things now what's in at the minute is people have these little uh, things come off the side of here they're really simple to do so I'm going to show you a really brief way of how to do that now if I zoom in a bit mostly on the YouTube box a lot of people like having this uh, these as I said before these uh, little things coming off the side now what I have to do to do that is by getting the rectangle tool here and I'm just going to zoom into 200% actually okay now I'm going to create a new layer um, on the background like so so I just come out of the shapes create a new layer and I'm just going to drag out a rectangle probably about that big like so, so we have a nice rectangle then I'm going to go to edit transform and distort Then I'm just going to click and hold shift and just drag down the bottom just a tiny bit so now we have this little uh, sort of I don't know what you could really say, they just see squares on the side, or rectangles on the side but a lot of people seem to like them so that's one we can add, we can maybe add a bevel and emboss to that and uh, change it to be the opposite side and let's choose it to be chisel hard let's set this down to two, about three like so use global light taken off so now I can have a nice bevel and emboss to this like so um, you can also maybe add a drop shadow so just adds a nice drop shadow just change it to the opposite side maybe set the distance down to maybe two but you can add one of them, I don't want to add one of them, don't really like them having them there okay so we've got that one there, a lot of people like to have another one coming down the side so I'm going to create a new layer I'm going to create another rectangle but a very thin rectangle this time like so I'm going to go to edit transform path and then I'm going to choose a distort and I'm going to come down on the bottom one hit hold shift and just drag down just a tiny bit again so a nice little curve effect there. I'm going to drag it underneath the other shape we just made. Okay, so as you can see, it's hit a bit more now. And then we can also apply that bevel and emboss like we did to the other side. So copy layer style, paste layer style, like so. So now we have a nice uh, effect going on on the side of our uh, YouTube background now. Okay. So as you can see, we've got that nice little effect there. Now we could um, click on the bottom one hold um, shift and click on the top one, right click and choose merge layers now that just makes it become one layer Okay. so if we duplicate that by hitting control J on our keyboard as you can see it's created a duplicate like a copy and um, now if I go to edit making sure I'm on the new copy of course go to edit transform flip horizontal and then it's flipped it around the opposite way and then if we uh, click hold shift this will keep it the opposite the right way and then drag it to the other side as we can see now, if I go to the other side, we have the exact same one. Just move it in a little bit with the arrow keys. Oops, what have I done now? Move the opposite side, haven't I? Yeah. Um, now, if we make sure on that copy again, use the arrow keys just to move it in like so, and then we have a perfect, uh, like, how could I say it? What's the word? Well, I forgot. Um, sort of reflection, I can't really say that, I forgot what it's called but um, where you have the opposite sides are the exact same 
Now, um, maybe we want to add a nice background to this. Now, what I like using is um, creating a new on the background layer. Actually, not create a new background layer. Go on the background layer. Go to the um, gradient tool. Might look like the paint bucket tool. Uh, just make sure you click down. Choose gradient tool. Now, it'll be normally set on this one here. Now, if we go to the radial one, that's the second one along. That's the radial gradient, and we choose the black to white. I'm going to do black to a nice light blue, okay, like so. And then I'm going to drag down, hold and shift, and let go. Maybe a bit bigger, like so. And it'll create a nice radial background to this. And that gives it quite a nice effect because the background is black and these are black. It sort of fades away, like so. Now, what I make sure is on your background, never have anything go off the sides of your document because if someone has a bigger screen resolution uh, or maybe a bigger screen size and they go onto YouTube, they might be able to see, say if you have all lines going across here or a starburst effect, it's going to stop at one point. Now, um, if they go on, it's going to look absolutely stupid because it's going to have this nice effect and it's just going to stop. I've seen it on a lot of people's YouTube channels, so make sure you don't go off the side, don't create anything off the side of this document. Okay, so you see there we've got a nice radial effect. Now, a nice thing I like to put into these is if I create a new layer, make sure my background color, uh, my foreground color, my background color is black to white over here. You can change them by just double clicking, or you can hit D on your keyboard and that will change them. So, say if I flip it around and I hit D, it'll automatically reset it to what they normally are. If I go to filter, then I go to render and I choose clouds. I've rendered some clouds here. Now if I um, on this cloud here, if I go to the blend mode options up here and I choose it to be overlay, as you can see it's given us this really nice effect behind um, the um, background. I can always take the opacity down so you see less of the clouds if you really want to. I think on 100% looks really nice. Okay, so that's quite a nice effect you can add. You can maybe add some text alongside. So if I create a new layer, get the text um, tool over here, let that load. Mine sometimes takes a little bit time to load because I have quite a lot of um, fonts. But say if I just choose the mod font, um, the the the, <laughs> the font mod, and then I click down and maybe just set the size down quite a bit. And maybe right PC designs. I can never be asked writing pure create designs these days. Edit, transform. Then I um, so let me let's just choose this to be white. So I just go, sorry, if I just go to effects, color overlay. Let's just choose this to be white so we can just stands out a bit. And then uh, I go to edit. Now um, because I'm going to flip it this way, I'm going to go to edit, transform, flip, uh, rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. And that's going to uh, because counterclockwise obviously goes that way. And then, oh, sorry, counterclock I guess goes that way, so that's flipping it that way round, and that's 90 degrees. And then counter uh, clockwise obviously is going to go that way, so that's if you want to put text on that side, or if you really want to, um, you could maybe actually go and go Control T, and that'll bring up your transform, and then hit hold and shift, you can go round to 90 degrees like so. All right, so we can put this either alongside here, Let's drag it down underneath shape one so we have the shape still over it maybe um, let's maybe scale this down actually I'm going to put the text alongside this one here like so um, another thing a lot of people like to maybe put is just images into here um, to put images in obviously you just drag it in and you'll have it there but that's it guys that's really the basic way on how to edit this YouTube background I created for you hope you enjoyed the tutorial guys it's really easy to create backgrounds go mess around with it have a lot of fun obviously if you uh, like this video please subscribe like it thumbs up and um, yeah hope you have a good day guys if you have any problems please message me about it I should respond back most of the time I do but that's it guys, see ya.